welcome to another episode of Just Your Average Baker. I'm Amelia, and today I have a special guest with me, Mackenzie. Hi. Today we'll be baking a homemade Funfetti birthday cake for her boyfriend. And I'm not going to show the decorating, I'm just going to show how to bake the cake and also how to make some homemade Funfetti frosting. Yeah. So let's get started. Stuff you'll need for today's video. I'm just going to show you everything that's laid out here, and I'll go through quantities as we're mixing. You're going to need butter vanilla extract, baking soda, baking powder, salt, heavy whipping cream, powdered sugar, something to spray your pans with, something to measure out your ingredients with as well, buttermilk, cake flour or regular all-purpose flour, cane sugar, and then obviously we're doing funfetti so you're going to need spur wrinkles. These kind are the kind that are not supposed to bleed into the batter, they're not like non pareils or something, so this kind's the best kind for this. And that is everything you'll be needing. Okay, so for this recipe we're going to use three cups of cake flour. Like we said before, you can use all-purpose flour too. Two and a half cups of regular sugar, um, a tablespoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. Woohoo! Okay, so we got that stuff in. And then we just need to like stir it up. I feel like it's gonna go poof. See, just a quick beat, quick mix, quick mix. Um, <laughs> we're gonna use three sticks of butter, and then um, total we're gonna be using a cup and a fourth of buttermilk. But for right now, we're just gonna use a cup, and the fourth will come in later. And we're mixing those together in a separate bowl and then we'll add them to our flour mixture that we measured out and mixed up a little bit earlier. No, these ones are just gonna go in here. What? Yeah. Don't ever listen to me. I'm not even reading the recipe this time. <laughs> They're just gonna go straight in this one. Yep. That bowl's for later. It Ew. Buttermilk, butter hands. Butter life. <laughs> okay. Just put Beat on, on low. Oh god. You know what we can do? We'll just oh. try to use this again. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't uh, always, always work. Always work so well. And I am a girl who waits. Check out how fluffy it is now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, fluffy. So for this step, we're going to use five eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and the rest of the buttermilk, with it, which is a fourth of a cup. And we're doing it in a separate bowl this time. Yep. Unlike how I thought it was the separate bowl at the beginning. It's now the separate bowl for real. And then we'll add it in there in a second. Mm hmm Now the fun part, sprinkles. I hope my face was really close to the camera there. We're Probably. gonna add, uh, we're gonna chuck in this entire thing of sprinkles. It's one cup, so we'll see. I don't know how much is in a thing of sprinkles. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Do we wanna measure it? We're winging or? it. Um, I'm guessing that's not a cup, but we can measure it. I am just curious now to see. Oh, see, so, yeah. Half a cup is what we've got. It's like, it's like two thirds, maybe. So that's what we're using. And yeah. if we need to, we, I could add a dash of Do monster dash sprinkles. Into mon yeah, we'll dash some monster sprinkles in. Those too. are from Halloween. Gotta use up the sprinkles. Yeah. Is that See, a dash? Yeah, that's a dash. Like three fourths. Yeah. So we'll just uh, just do this now. Do you want to do it? Oh, I could do I it. I mean, yeah. it's your cake. We have prepped our batter, as you guys have seen, and Ooh. now we're ready to pour it into the pan and also the cupcake liners. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Mess is being made. Yes. I was born in a seaside town. They serve salt to my eyes. Okay, so we're ready to put them in the oven. Yes, we're gonna start with our cupcakes. Perfect. They'll totally fit side by side. Yes. 
And then we're gonna check our cupcakes in about 15 minutes to see where they're at. Um, because the recipe didn't say the baking time for cupcakes. We'll give it a cake. Yep. Which is 35 minutes. So, yeah. But we won't need quite that long, so we're gonna check it in a bit. <laughs> While the cakes and cup well the cake and cupcakes are baking, we are going to make the frosting now. Yay. So well, first I have to clean out all the stuff we just used, and then we're going to make little, the frosting. Gotta do a little cleanup. Gotta do a little cleanup job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we're going to make the frosting next. Okay, so now we're going to make the frosting. The recipe that we used for the cake had a, a frosting recipe, but we decided we didn't really like it because it used a lot of butter, and we only have one stick left. So, so I'll link the recipe that we're actually using down below in the mm -hmm. description box. So we're going to use one cup of butter which we're gonna mix butter and margarine because we ran out a little bit, but that's mm -hmm. fine. Um, and then three to four cups of powdered sugar or confectionery sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla, a pinch of salt, and then two to three tablespoons of heavy cream. And it just kinda depends on the thickness of your frosting. And I'm really at it with the thumbs up too. Yeah, I like too. it, thumbs yeah. up. Yeah. We're gonna start by beating the butter with the paddle attachment until mm -hmm. it is soft and all whipped up. I'm going to scrape down the bowl. We've whipped up the butter. I'm going to put on the whisking attachment. We'll add the heavy whipping cream, vanilla, and sugar. salt. Sugar? Oh, we're doing sugar, sugar first. We'll add the sugar first, and then we'll <laughs> add the other things. So just watch what I do and don't listen to what my mouth says. Yes. Rain drops in my tiny blue Waiting for the bright yellow sun. We whipped it all up and now we're going to add our vanilla extract, two tablespoons, a pinch of salt, and two to three tablespoons of that. We'll start Heavy with the cream. That's what that cream? is. Yeah. I'll scrape down the bowl. Mm -hmm. we'll a we're just we're gonna, gonna squeeze a lemon. Squeeze a lemon. It's a little sweet for our taste. We're just gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon in there, and uh, we'll retaste it in a second after it whips up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we decided to check the cake. Oh, I should give you an oven mitt. <laughs> <laughs> Where's an oven mitt? Me. Sorry. Oh, here we go. Mm. Oh, that guy's not done. No, but the cupcakes are done. The cupcakes are done. look done. The cupcakes are done. So I'm just gonna... Should we poke them? They're... I mean, or they, they're done. They're done. So I'm gonna bring these out. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ah. And then the cake is nowhere near finished. It's all blobby in the middle. Mm-hmm. We're gonna just keep cooking that guy. Ooh, it's like really blobby. Yeah. We took the cupcakes out. We left the cake in. It looked all blobby in the middle. We're gonna let the cupcakes cool, let the cake finish cooking, then take it out, let it cool. We finished up the frosting. So the next thing you guys will see will probably be decorating, decorating and eating yeah. some cake scraps. So. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Yeah. So we've come to the end of the video, the time when we get to taste test. Mm -hmm. Because these are cupcakes and cake for her boyfriend's birthday, we're just gonna split one and taste it with a little bit of the frosting because she's gonna decorate it to look all nice later. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna split this up and test it really quick. The frosting definitely turned out better once we added the lemon. Lemon, yeah, it was pretty sweet before. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have peeled it back and then cut it, but... Okay. Thank you. Oh, they're fluffy. They're nice and fluffy. The moment of truth. Cheers. Lots of sprinkles. Lots of sprinkles. Mm -hmm. I see a little bit. Mm-hmm. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The cake turned out really like nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and fluffy. Mm -hmm. That was tasty. Ah, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I think the frosting will only get better as it sets up. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. If you need to, you can add a little bit more powdered sugar too. Yeah. This one turned out good. Oh. Yeah. See all the sprinkles? 
Frank got all those. Yum. Mm -hmm. That was more delicious than I thought it would yeah, be. Yeah, it'll turn out. It'll turn out. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed watching us make a homemade Funfetti cake and some homemade frosting. You can't go wrong with homemade cake and homemade frosting. Mm -hmm. Unless you delicious. mess it up, which we, we could have. But we didn't. We didn't this time. Yeah. So it turned out. Mm -hmm. Well done, us. Yay! Um, <laughs> And if you liked the video, please go like it down below, thumbs up, whatever. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. And I'll see you guys next week. Happy baking. Bye. Bye. But you better walk out of here with cake in your arms on your own. <laughs> Hold the frosting in your hand. You can't borrow my Tupperware. Just put it back in, back in my bag. Yep. Just, yep. just kind of sloop yeah. it in there. Just sloop it. Yep. I know what the cup is first and then dump the frosting in the back. And then we'll just shake it. Good to go. See you next time. No, you know what? We'll just wing it. Okay. We'll wing it. It'll turn out fine. <laughs>